Okay, uh, good morning or afternoon, Second Bridge. This is First Lieutenant Aguilar. I thought I'd also provide a video briefing to the traditional CONOP I send out to you. I know you all live extremely busy lives, so I thought it'd be nice for you to, to be able to just pop this in while you're doing a task, like some other key chore or your actual job as opposed to reading everything. Please do read a lot of things, but also this is just a nice companion to help you get the big picture. This will include like 80%, 85% of the information that you're going to need for this weekend. Uh, so here we have our first slide. This is going to be what we're doing on the 3rd of November. Uh, really, the purpose of this whole BA, as you probably know by this point, is weapons qualification, both crew serve and individual for key individuals who still need uh, to qualify on M4. So overall, the mission statement, you can see in the far left-hand corner, just weapons qual. In terms of a timeline, it's going to look very similar to most range days. We're going to just get there at 0 06, uh, prep for the convoy. Ideally, we'll be able to head out by 08. We already set up the convoy manifest to Sergeant Abelson, so hopefully all dispatches are good to go and we won't run into too many troubles. I know we usually do, but I'm still crossing my fingers just in case we can. Main thing is 1300. We need to make sure the first convoy gets there. That's a hot time. Uh, because we're going to have a person who's going to be a part of the tracer class. Sorry for talking quickly. I just only have 15 minutes on this free app. We're going to have someone show up for the tracer class so we know how to run uh, the range that we're responsible for, which is range 73, M249, and M4 qual range. And when we arrive, there's just going to be some basic admin tasks, PMI prep, rehearsals, draw barracks, extra VIX. You can see it right there or here, what I'm saying. The main thing is... Uh, a lot of, I would just say NCOs, really step up, uh, try to help people who are trying to do well on their quals, help them practice, that kind of thing. Uh, but then all range personnel will kind of, kind of finalize and get our plans together. Um, mostly we have a plan together, but coordinate with the other platoons uh, to make sure we need to know where we need to put our guys at which point. And then after 1730 or around 1700, we're going to have dinner. It's going to be El Matador, the Mexican place, and there's going to be evening briefs. Uh, you have all the necessary links right here. You got the execution matrix, the newsletter, route directions. Uh, those are the stops, but this is all subject to change by the convoy commander, who will be Sergeant Curry. And also in the first, um, in the first convoy, the, the first serial, will be Sergeant Kirk, because you, Sergeant Kirk, will be the rep for the tracer class. Everything you need is right here uh, for day one. I'm going to advocate for us to have an early bed down. So I'd like us to be well rested for the ranges. Uh, oh, don't forget radios and what we see with equipment here. Uh, we're going to need radios because we need two forms of communication with range control. I know they usually give us one, but we need a backup. Okay, so the actual range is, this is going to be occurring on uh, 4 November and 5 November. So that's going to be Friday and Saturday. Um, based off of whatever your weapon assignment is, which you can see right here, you will be going to that range's... Um, that, that range to shoot your weapon. So uh, we're going to have a pretty early wake up, unfortunately, uh, but that's okay. We're going to have the range admin go to the ranges roughly an hour afterwards, and then shooters are going to go. Uh, trying to make ranges go hot by 0815, it should be light by then. We're kind of limited on daylight because it is November time. So we're trying to maximize the amount of light uh, is really the game plan. On 4 November, we're probably going to close the ranges a little bit later as opposed to 5 November, because we need to close the ranges a little bit earlier for the police call and brass and ammo shakedown. 1730 is going to be dinner at El Matador. Um, do note that the 1630 and 1600 are very optimistic. It's more likely than not that El Matador is going to be shuttled out to shooters. I, I'm just guessing. They didn't say that. I'm just guessing. Um, but that's probably what it's going to look like. Uh, our task is in terms of administration, I mean, your task is qualify you with your weapon, but in terms of leadership's task, it's to run range 73. On the 4th of November, it's going to mostly be M249 people rolling through and some people who have zeroed on the M4 range. Uh, and then we're going to do mostly M4 qual on 5 November, just kind of being available and ready to go. Additionally, other ranges, I'm going to guess, are going to need range personnel. We are going to be a little bit more willing to give them personnel on the 4th of November to help with the ranges, but on the 5th of November, we are going to be pretty stingy, um, not because we're mean, but just because we need to have enough personnel to run our range, which is range 73, um, the M4 qual range, and then the M249 qual range. So that is our main goal in terms of administration, but everyone else's main goal is just qualify with your weapon in a safe and 
environment. Again, if you're like, what am I shooting? Hopefully you know by now, but you can just click on that link and it'll tell you. Okay, and then here's just kind of how we're running the range. So this is more for um, range personnel. Uh, so you can skip a little bit ahead if you're not a key person in charge of the range. But kind of similar to how we did it last time, mostly using lanes 7, 8, 10, and 11. When we start to have overfill, uh, then we'll utilize more ranges uh, or more lanes, but I like to just use the short ones because it's a little bit faster when you only have a couple people trickling in. Again, two soldier per lane, one spotter, one shooter, four 10 round magazines. Uh, we can, I've, I we probably should have finalized this, but we were talking about having a uh, practice, practice magazine. Uh, we can verify that when we get to the range and then when I brief our range personnel, we can determine that, but it'll look very similar to how we ran the range in April, I believe. April or last November, I, I forget. Same rules, you can see right there. Here's the main range assignment. So I'll be in charge of uh, range 73. South Star and Barrack will be uh, NCOIC. RSO will be South Star and Winfrey. Rain, RSO or the range system operators will be Sergeant Kirk primary, Sergeant Meadows reserve. Medic, we will have specialist EADS. Um, we're still trying to work that out, but definitely on the 5th of November we'll have specialist EADS. We might have to flex and get someone else on another day. Range safeties, you will not be a safety forever. The expectation is once you qualify or once like other soldiers qualify, they will fill in for you. There'll be a rotation process. Uh, CBT with a radio will utilize Bravo 206 or because it has a good mount. At least that's what I've been told. Just make sure that there's a CBT with a good mount there and we can utilize the radio uh, as our like communications vehicle. Uh, LMTV, which I forgot to include in the last slide. It's in one of the slides. Oh, there you go. LMTV is going to be the Kazavac, so make sure we have our LMTV for Kazavac. I'm going to try to work with the firefighter debt to get like a hung V for a Kazavac vehicle. The LMTV is the emergency situation. And then Sergeant Fry, he's going to be our ammo handler, and I'm assuming Staff Sergeant Tran is going to be kind of everywhere as he usually is on range day doing what he's got to do. On the way back, pretty simple. We're just getting back home. Uh, same exact convoy, Sergeant Curry, you're going to be in charge again. Uh, same exact people in the convoy. Again, you can just click on the convoy manifest to see like what you got to do. Um, yeah, we're going to try to SP out of there pretty quick. Ideally, I know we don't control this, but ideally I'd love to get out of there by like 08. Probably a bit optimistic, probably going to be more like 09. Uh, the bus people, I presume, I've been told that the bus is going to be coming at its usual times. So ideally, the convoy people will get back a little bit earlier than the bus people, and they can begin uh, recovery operations. So that's going to be like counselings, SI inventory, such turning, which we shouldn't have much because we had a lot last time. Admin wrap up, uh, PMCSing once you arrive at home station. AAR, make sure you have the ARs ready to go. Uh, remedial PMI, um, if there's time permitting, but put that up pretty low on the list, and then NCOERs. We don't actually have NCOERs, um, so we don't have to really worry about that this uh, this uh, weekend. Uh, but yeah, the newsletter is there for all admin stuff. You can see it. The route directions are still there. There's the convoy manifest as well. Um, finally, if you really want to dig deep on the plan, there's also the November 20, uh, 2022 op word. Um, that will give you a little bit more of the specifics, but I'll just kind of do a quick summary and conclusion. In summary, first day, you're going to arrive there at 06, draw your weapon, help, you know, loading up the vehicles for the convoy to head out by hopefully 08, because we have that hard time of 1300 for the tracer class. Once everyone arrives there, be productive, try to help people learn how to shoot better, try to help uh, people um, run the ranges effectively, finalize and be confident in the plan and your shooting abilities for the next day. We're going to have El Matador for dinner, and then we're going to have some evening briefs, such as like an EO brief, uh, I believe, um, Sharp Part 3. So maybe I get to do that. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see. So that's kind of the game plan for uh, Thursday, which is going to be 3 November. Here's the slide for 4 November and 5 November. These are just the range days. Again, uh, Second Bridge is responsible for running the M4 Qual range and the M249 range, all on range 73, so where it always is. Um, wake up is going to be 0530 with a one hour time span in between range admin SPing to the ranges to set it up. Oh, I forgot to say, day before, also a part of kind of prepping for the ranges, uh, range person, we're going to do a recon of the range to make sure everything's on the up and up. But yeah, back to 4 November and 5 November. These are the range days. 
we want the ranges to go hot by 0815. That is the goal, trying to maximize daylight. Um, yep, uh, ranges are going to go cold at various times. Dinner will probably be brought out to us. Weapon assignment list is right there for you. Uh, yep, this is kind of more the specifics of our range, which I already got into. Yep, specifics of our range. And then finally, you have um, the, the last day, which we are going to convoy back home to home station in a similar manner as before. And then again, mission isn't done until we complete all of our counseling, SI, admin wrap up, that stuff. Utilize the newsletter for a good understanding. Uh, and then also there's the op board. So yeah, I tried to keep it pretty short, sweet and simple. Please let me know if you have any questions. This will be up on Google Classroom by the time you're watching this. Um, look through everything and let me know if you need anything. Thanks.